But first, Rig of the Week. To just give you an idea of what happens to these things, this one is tied up with the history of the society in the U.S. called SPAMFA, which means the Society for the Preservation and Appreciation of Antique Motor Fire Apparatus in America. The first truck that uh, these guys bought in Syracuse was in 1925, American La France. And this was the second truck that they got, and it's in 1930. It had everything on it from the time that it had left service. Uh, nothing had been taken off, so all I have added to it is the original hook. So it's H&L is hook and ladder, and you put the hook up over top of a, a building wall that had, you know where the roof has been burned in and you just got a wall freestanding wall now that could be a danger to the public and guys get on the end of that rope and you pull the wall down and this has a very wide range of different ladders pretty well all the ladders in in the fire industry were douglas fir and they were the wood was selected to be really free of knots and and any faults in it and they had to orient the the grain just so to get the maximum strength out of it so they wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't break. And Seagrave was making these truss ladders for ground ladders. These big cylinders in there are holding coil springs. And the coil springs are under compression. If we release the mechanism, the coil spring releases its energy, pushes out on these pistons, and uh, up the ladder comes, just like that. To get it back down, those cranks go on the transmission up there, and you change the gear in the transmission, and then you start to crank and crank and crank and crank and bring it back down. So it's, the energy is put into these by the weight of the ladder and the manpower to, to crank it in. And then, of course, when you get to the fire, then uh, it goes up in a hurry. They had electric starts from uh, about 1914 on. Pretty necessary. This, this is 1,017 cubic inches of displacement in this engine. It's listed as 79 horsepower because at 80 horsepower, there was a uh, a different tax oh. on, on trucks at that time. Eh? <laughs> so they listed this as 79. If you were to put that on a dynam dynamometer now, I, I think it might be 83. They were different horses. These were all Clydesdales. Now the carb on this is an updraft carb. There is no air filter on these things on the intake to the carburetor, which is really weird. Eh? You would think that a fire truck around ash, uh, dirt roads and all that stuff, they would have an air filter on them, and a good air filter on them. None. It's just a right into, the, right into the carb. This one's got a siren on it, and the siren is a uh, friction siren, so off the flywheel behind the clutch, there's a smooth spot on the flywheel, and those little pedals right there by where your heel would be, you just push down on that and it swings the grip of the siren around uh, onto the flywheel and so it goes faster or slower depending on what the revs of the motor are. This one will go almost 40 miles an hour. Uh, gasoline not being that hot in terms of its quality. And so often uh, valves would, would uh, carbon up, you know, really bad. So if you take a motor like this at a service to do a valve job, of course, you haven't got the truck. You can't exactly put another truck in under this to do this, so you're out of service. So these caps unscrew. And uh, so you take the plug out, you got a wrench that drops in there, you can unscrew that cap, and then you put your big clamp in there onto the, onto the valve and snap it up, you know, and then pull, your, pull the pin out of the valve, and you can lift the valve right out of there. So you can do one valve at a time. So you can put the grinding compound down in there and spin the valve. You could pull the valve out and just do a, a separate on it, but mostly what they did was just, was just put the grinding compound down in there and, and then spin it. It's got a slot in the top of the valve uh, in place. 
The idea was that within 10 minutes or so, if you got a call, you should be able to get this thing on the road. The valve lifters in this are a roller on them, eh? which is now new top-end technology in, in uh, the high-performance vehicles. This is, they had this in my 1915 trucks. I've got the same engine in them. They had a roller in them then.